Hi there, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Anyway, today I was thinking that maybe I should watch a Turkish movie again. Uh, I was thinking to watch uh, The Cup Hercules 9. It's a biography movie. It tells a story about a Bulgarian weightlifter who has Turkish roots, right? And the movie is uh, during the last Cold War era, so it kind of fits for today's world. And uh, I usually like biography movies because there's a lot of drama in them. And I don't even remember when was the last time I've been crying. Crying in the real world and crying watching movies. I don't remember. Maybe I have grown uh, tough. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, move some chairs and uh, let's start watching the movie. Oh my god, it's too bright. Here I am, back to my iconic chair. Now I just need to uh, get something here. And then I need to get my computer so I can set it here. And then I need to have the loudspeaker there. And uh, I think I will be ready to watch the movie soon. And also I have some uh, problem with my microphone because now if you, if you listen, it should be entirely quiet. But you can hear this like and I hate it, I don't know where it's coming from. I can't believe that I'm actually here, sitting on this chair. I'm about to watch a Turkish movie and filming a reaction video. Because honestly, it's been ages since I've been here on the same room filming Turkish reaction videos. I remember watching Buru and uh, Ethos and uh, Yassi Bati in this room and uh, this is a little bit feels nostalgic for me. Uh, yeah, and this movie is 2 hours 14 minutes, so it's a long movie. Without further ado, let's start watching and I really hope you enjoy my reactions if I get any. Just based on how this movie started, I can say that I will like this. I think so. It must be a cat or a dog in the box, right? Make sure to watch this on TV. Yeah, I just wanted to say that I still remember Heal Me from Ethos. <laughs> These training scenes has already been a little bit emotional. They are very well done. I feel like I'm already inspired. <laughs> This is the part where I should have more history knowledge. I know that what is going to happen next is crazy. Surprise, surprise, they are competing in Moscow and something is not right. I'm, I'm, I don't want to be shady here, but what else can you expect? Can someone please explain why on earth this was happening? This is also an interesting topic uh, to talk with friends sometimes, that basically we know only what we see on TVs and for, from, uh, from the news, from the newspapers. But who are the people who are deciding what to show on TV and what kind of news to write on, on the newspaper? And there's a word called propaganda. And basically, 
imagine if you're in control about what kind of information do you want to put out there. It can be facts, it can be fiction, it can be crazy information. So it's just an interesting topic. Uh -oh. Why is it okay for all the Bulgarians that it's okay to, to change the name for the, the Turkish Bulgarians to, to Bulgarian names? I just don't get it. This is crazy. Some people knew that he might flee the country, he might go to Turkey, but yeah, it's just crazy. Like, they were watching him 24 7. Just to <laughs> How will he escape? <laughs> What, an, <clears throat> what a nice moment. Everyone is celebrating that Nine has escaped. And also, it, it touched me a, a little bit. It seems that Nine Solomonov made his choice of his own free will. Why was that so touching scene? Like out of nowhere. And welcome to Turkey. <laughs> This is your new car. One million dollars cash. What? For reals? Did that also happen? For reals? Ben bulursam uzun görevle sesini duymak istiyorum. Hayır değil ben arası. Adamın hayatta yere değmiyor ama Amerikan yazısı değilim. Tersi de hep diyeceksin diye ne yapalım? 62 kilos. 2 kilo fazla var. Ben sonra gidiyorum. Gidelim. Ben de gidelim. Time for sauna. Oh wow, this is like, there's many emotional scenes. I was pretty sure that I will not get emotional, I don't know why. I was like, it, it will not touch me so much. I still don't know what was wrong with Naim. What was the sickness he had? Yeah, that is what I what I call dedication, hard work and dedication. Nothing worth having comes easy. If you have a goal and you want it bad, you have the motivation. Five days to Olympics. He can't do it. Süleyman oğlum, 
akşam saatlerinde. Vadi Kodis! Milyarların gözü... Duruş! Duruş! Naim dünya rekoru! Dünya rekoru! Naim Seyhan'ın toparmada 150 buçuk kiloyla dünya rekoru kuruyor sevgili Ve kaldıramıyor sevgili seyirciler. Toparı başarısız oldu. Seul'de henüz 21 yaşında bakmaya bile kıyamadığınız için. Naim Süleymanoğlu kendi ağırlığının 3 katı... Neşte duruş hadi sen kendin bölge olasın. Tüm sağlar. Sadece Türkiye'de değil, bütün dünyada gözler şu anda. What a movie! That was a good one. And what a sport, man! Oh wow! Yeah, where should I begin? Ah, quickly! It was a good movie. I liked it. Once again, the drama and biography movie didn't let me down. And the story was great. It's crazy that it's been. Uh, it's based on true events. Uh, two hours went quite fast. The main character, Naim, uh, I could relate to him, maybe because we are both short, but uh, he was very uh, likable character, nice personality, and I'm so happy that he, you know, he achieved his goals and he got to to tell the world what was happening in Bulgaria. Cinematography was great. Uh, I like uh, the visuals. Every scene was was nice, music was great, and uh, also the supporting actors, Naim's dad, mom, were great. I was gutted that uh, he died so so young age. And I also felt like that I didn't want the movie to end. I actually wanted to wanted to know what, what happened after that, uh, that last competition. I think uh, it was a nice story, and even though Naim died at the end, it was a nice story that got a happy ending. I will give this movie 8.5 out of 10. It was very good. It was it was good. And uh, yeah, if you made it so far, thank you so much for watching. And I really hope that I will see you in the next video. And I really hope that I will make a next video as well. But please, uh, if you like this, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. And uh, yeah. Hopefully we will see you soon. Bye bye.